What's up guys, Seth here, welcome back to Bachelor MMA. Cowboy Cerrone, a long time, long time veteran of uh, Jackson Wink MMA, he's actually leaving. Mike Perry, who's now training at the same gym, Donald Cerrone, right, at, at Winkle John, he wanted to fight Cerrone. While he says he's cool on camera, he's going to feel some type of way. So he went to Greg Jackson, listen, you know, this guy's been here for one fight, one fight camp, and he's calling me out. All right, he's calling me out. So I think since I've been here, I've certainly done a lot for this gym. I should train here and he should go train somewhere else for this fight, right? I want my coaches who, who's been with me for years to train me. And they basically said, well, uh, you know what, this and that. Apparently, Winkle John said, uh, uh, if you don't have him, we don't get, I don't get paid and he's going to train you. They basically kicked uh, Cerrone out the gym. Now, we haven't heard anything from Greg Jackson and Winkle John, but this is not the first time that we've we've heard this. We've actually seen this exact same thing, you know, in with the old, um, out with the old, in with the new. Now, Rashad Evans, when he was a contender, when he was supposed to fight Shogun, he actually got injured. All right, when he got injured, an opportunity was given to John Jones. Now, Rashad at the time was an original Team Jackson, Greg Jackson, uh, you know, Winkle John guy. Uh, before Winkle Johnny C even joined um, Greg Jackson, it was just like Jackson MMA. Rashad was one of the main guys. Like you had Rashad, you had Keith Jardine, and you only had like you know literally like five guys basically. Rashad put Greg Jackson on the map. You know he won the Ultimate Fighter, he won the belt, and Greg Jackson went from a nobody to a world champion head coach. And then John Jones started coming in. And he started training over there, and he started doing some really, really big things. Everyone kind of knew, like, yo, this is the guy, you know. This is the guy now that's going to be the future at 205. Well, Rashad's here at 205, but Rashad's getting kind of old there. He's out of his time. And I don't think Rashad can beat John Jones. So when the decision came, you know, when, when John Jones became the champion and Rashad was still a contender, who's Greg Jackson going to choose? You know, you can't represent both fighters. You can't coach both fighters. So at first, Greg Jackson was like, well, you know, I'm going to stay out of it, this and that. But we all knew that he was going to pick John Jones, and he did. You know, that's when Rashad left, formed his own gym, Black Zillions in Florida. And Greg Jackson, you know, took John Jones' side, and the rest is history. He took the guy, Rashad, who built that gym, in a sense, right? Rashad, Jardine, uh, Diego Sanchez. They were the original members. In Rashad's case, he was kind of pushed aside in for John Jones. Now, I don't necessarily blame him because it's a business move, but wasn't Rashad there first? Wasn't he here first? I mean, wasn't, wasn't he the guy that made you who you are? If it wasn't for Rashad being a champion, winning the ultimate fighter, John Jones probably might not even come train with you. You wouldn't have John Jones if it wasn't for Rashad. But they kicked him out and they stuck with John Jones. Why is that relevant? Because the exact same thing ha is happening to Cerrone. He's been with Jackson for the longest time. You always had Jackson and, and, and Wink in his corner. And then all of a sudden, you know, Cerrone lost a few. He's definitely getting up there in age. How many more fights does he have? I don't know. Mike Perry is an exciting new welterweight young man. And they're about to fight. And basically, they're kicking Cerrone out of his gym. So you can see what they're doing. I mean, is there any loyalty to the gym? You got to understand that this is a business. I'm not faulting Greg Jackson or Winkle John here, but at the same time, it's kind of sour. Like, yo, these guys helped build your gym, right? Rashad was one of the original OGs of the gym, and you just tossed them aside for John Jones, Donald Cerrone, e even with Diego Sanchez back in the day. Like, Diego was making a run at welterweight, and those guys brought in George St. Pierre. So how does Diego feel about that? Like, wait a minute, are you going to help me win a champion at welterweight, but you're bringing on George St. Pierre? You want to coach him too? So there's something about loyalty, and I will say this, you know, Dana White has had some comments about Greg Jackson. Obviously, we see the history here. I was never a big fan of Greg Jackson. I was never a big fan of, I was, I was a fan of Winkle John, but I was never a big fan of Greg Jackson, precisely because of what happened with Rashad. Um... But look at it now, same thing's happening. And same thing's probably gonna happen in the future where the new fighter, and obviously new talents wanna come and train at Jackson because he's such a famed coach, won coach of the year a few times. So they wanna train with the best. 
but then he's pushing out the old guys, right? He's pushing them out and uh, keeping the new guys in. So that, that kind of, that's kind of sour, honestly. And I'm disappointed to hear that. I think Cerrone has a lot to be upset about. But at the same time, I think you got to realize, like, hey, it's just business. Stick with you when you're on top, when you're the man. And then uh, when there's a new guy, just toss you aside. So I felt for Rashad way back then. And I feel for Don Cerrone now. But, uh, you know, it's terrible. So I think this is a good warning for all the fighters. Like, listen, you got to make sure you, you watch out for yourself. You got to make sure who's coming in and out of the gym. You got to make sure that, you know, if they're bringing in new guys in your weight class, you should keep an eye out because they might be trying to replace your ass. Let me know, guys. Let me know in the comment section what your thoughts are. Uh, is this a bad move by Greg Jackson or is this a fair move? Is this just a business move or is it a bitch-ass move? Right.